Hello and welcome. We are back at the Lego House known as home of the brick for their opening day of the 2023 season. So this was the last weekend of January that this was open and we are starting in their clearance section, which is another thing that is brand new for the 2023. There are loads and loads of sets that they got in a clearance area. So you've got this big thing here, which is double sided and there are two of these, but we will have a better look at the pricing as the video goes on. As you can see, they are running the giveaway purchases as well and they've got a lot of different ones depending on what price point that you aim for and they do obviously like a normal lego store do all of the vip points as well but with the giveaways it is a case of they will be running just like a normal store but you can see all the different bits and pieces there that they've got so they've got the super mario and disney sets on offer now 2023 year but they did not yet have the brand new exclusive set yet for the lego house for the 2023 so you can see that you've got the duck there you've got the lego lego house which is obviously on the other side and the architecture set which is just down here and then you've got two other exclusive sets that are on offer within this little section just here as well that was last year's exclusive so it'll be very very interesting to see what does come out for the 2023 year so i will have to come back at some point and get that filmed so this is january of 2023 so they will have all of the stock obviously up until that point so if you are watching this and they are missing some sets that'll be the only reason why because for example the a-frame had not yet been released but they have a huge amount of everything here they are fully stocked they've got all of the ucs star wars sets on display they had i do believe it was a razor quest that was built which we'll see in a second just to the right hand side certain areas was very very busy so i did have to film certain things a little bit quicker than i wanted to but you can see that is just chilling out there it is huge it's really good to see that actually built and how close it is they got lots and lots of models built they've got the titanic the coliseum the eiffel tower all built for you to have a look at so they've got a large selection of made up sets and you can see you've got the 8080 ucs set there as well and then as we go around we'll have a look at all of the pub wall the bam stuff and also how you make your custom lego minifigure as well but i was one of the first people into the lego shop in 2023 which is pretty cool it wasn't um, intentional it was just happened to be it was what it was at that time it's just I had to line up with regards to everything because i came on the saturday not on the sunday normally i would have done it on the sunday so it's just better luck than judgment but anything that you see obviously in the comments below please let me know if you are going to come to the lego house for the 2023 season again let us know in the comments below there is a lot to look forward to if you are going in the next couple of months especially if you are into your lego photography there is a huge lego photography area there is a snippet of what's to come from that um later on with it in this video you can see that they've got a little stall and stand and everything made there and it is extremely impressive now they've got some custom builds and they've obviously got the big eiffel tower now they have a few builds like this dotted around as well and it did look like obviously these were brand new for the 2023 it might have been from their big lego show now all of the modulars are there as well which is really really nice they got all of those nice and close together and they did have the jazz one already made up the medieval set is kind of starting to scream to me because that one will be going sooner rather than later i'm tempted by the lighthouse at some point but i am being very very careful with regards to what sets I'm currently buying for the use of them, shall we say. I'm only going to buy stuff now that I can use in my displays, which is going to be theme park related. So the first thing in everything that you're seeing, it will be Optimus Prime over everything else that I get next because I have a idea for him. And if you are thinking of what you're going to be buying again for the 2023 year, or you are excited for some of the sets that are going to be coming out, let everybody else know in the comments below and use the comment section as a nice discussion of what you're looking forward to or what you are also trying to backtrack as well they have the winnie the pooh idea you've got the sonic the hedgehog idea it's quite nice that they actually had a lot of the idea sets together again you can see for yourself because it's big enough you've got the coliseum and then you've got all the football pitches that is a nice new set as well it's the, the sort of the 3d wave and then as we're coming down they have the big loop roller coaster in there now they didn't have that built in the shop but they did have that on display in their history section which is almost like their basement area of the lego house so keep your eyes peeled for that because it is packed full of sets that i have never seen built before you've got the original green grocers you've got the original very 
now expensive and large carousel, the huge Ferris wheel, all of the roller coasters, everything is down there. It is amazing to see all of them built up behind the glass display cabinet. So if you are coming to the Lego house for 2023, you do have a lot to look forward to. Now, they have a massive selection, as you can see, of all the flowers. And that was a great wave that we we're looking at before. And up top, this display does wrap around all the way around the outside of the store, like it has done for multiple years. It does look extremely impressive. So that is still there. And they have a big selection of their pab stuff as well now there were loads and loads of people buying tubs and tubs and tubs of this first thing in the morning before the actual main part of the house opened up there was one group they must have had at least 15 20 tubs so they are we're going right in on all of that which is great to see so it'll be very interesting to see what those people are going to be mocking up now we come around you've got all the three and one creator sets they link into the lego classic and then as we come around and that then links into just the normal lego brick boxes as well so all of this is kind of close to the till this is it's still in the same section as what it was last year but it's really easy to grab and you can just walk to the till itself but we will ping back over to the other side and we'll have what i do believe is looking at all of the new avatar sets so if you are a massive avatar fan they have a lot in stock like i said they've got multiple multiple sets multiple boxes and as the day went on the lego house itself was actually fully sold out it was full so there was a huge amount of people here and the shop did get extremely busy from mid-morning on all the way through to the end of day but the staff were working their socks off just to keep everything replenished and they did have the fast and the furious car which is great to see so i know a lot of people are still trying to get their hands on that within the uk um, I still have yet to see it in any of the UK shops, so hopefully that will be in my collection sooner rather than later because it is something that obviously I am a fan of, so it would be nice to, nice to get, but they have a huge selection of Marvel as well, they've got some DC sets. I think we'll start panning around and having a look at everything that's a little bit lower and then we'll come through so they've got some of the the thor sets they've got some of the spider-man ones and obviously you can see you've got the big thor's hammer as well then you've got all of the different gauntlets you've got the, from the different infinity sagas and so on and so forth and then you've got the good four plus ranges for marvel and the dc and then coming back in to the marvel section because i think the marvel section has actually expanded and they've made more space within the shop and the ninjago area has completely changed so the shop feels a lot bigger because they have actually put things in a completely different placement so if you are wondering how they've gained the extra space they've done it very very cleverly and it worked really well because it was just perfect just to be able to walk around and you didn't bounce into anybody or anything so even though there were a huge amount of people in the shop later on in the afternoon it still felt that there was space whereas obviously that happened last year it would have been a little bit tighter so they've obviously done that for a reason which is a great effort by by all the guys and girls that work in the shop because i think it looks and feels a lot more spacious but the stock itself feels really really well stocked now we have a special guest appearing i do believe that should be the next bit that's coming in so mr lego snaps is a new legend that i met actually at the hotel the night before now he was one of the first people in the shop as well and he went straight over and started to make a custom sig fig so we will be having a look at his handy artwork in a very short second but on instagram his handle is lego underscore snaps so make sure you go over and give him a follow he's a really really nice afol and he was very very skilled with regards to what he was doing for his minifigures and some of the photos he's already put on his instagram is cracking so you can see all the harry potter stuff will wrap around we'll get and have a look at the main hogwarts castle and then we'll go over to him doing his magic fancy stuff and you can see he had it all in his head of what he wanted to do and i think he came away with a couple of these as well so fair play to him i hope he had a really really nice trip so fingers crossed he'll get himself a youtube account and then he'll be able to start speaking to everybody in the comments as well but you can see that is what he was doing it looked fantastic now moving off from that into the next section of the store this is again still the same same bit it's just bigger than what it looks like you've got all the mosaics so you can go in there and get your photo taken never done it if you have then obviously please do let me know now this cake now i do believe after i'm watching this back this was what was used for their event which was done as their live show on youtube a couple of months back celebrating the 90th year of play 
because I do believe that is what all of the LEGO contestants then put all their bits and pieces on right at the end. Could be wrong, but it does look like it was a prop used from their show. So if you know, please do let me know because I am intrigued to know if I'm right. I think it looks like it is. So I'm hoping it was, but I could be absolutely miles off and it could have just been something completely random that they've had in storage. But to me, it looks like it was used for their 90th year of play, but I think it might have been for their massive um, sort of Lego con event that they had a couple of months back. But you can see big, big Duplo section as well. I think that had moved because the Duplo section was actually originally on the back wall, which they've now got the Ninjago and the Lego City side by side. And the Duplo now is in its own area. It's sort of like a big loop around, which again, I think works a little bit better. So you've now got all of the Lego City and the, the Ninjago stuff, which is not what we're going to be looking at right now. That all goes into each other. That then goes into the friend section, which then goes into the mosaic. It flows really, really nicely. So the amount of times that they would have had to have moved all the shelves and put all the boxes in size order and everything else like that, you can just see there has been a lot of work gone into this store over their sort of Christmas break. So again, I think it's justified that everybody that worked on it needs a, a good round of applause or whatever, because um, yeah, I think it looks really, really good, really easy to see. And I'm a big fan of the new artwork. I've said this in a couple of videos now of the new Ninjago boxes. It looks very much more much more cartoony. And I think it sort of jumps out more comic-y is what I'm, uh, what I'm after. And now they've also got the Ninjago right next door to the Monkey Kid. So the Monkey Kid now links in to the Lego City. Now this set intrigues me a lot because you can do a few different bits and pieces with that that I didn't know that you could do because it links into one of the other sets that they released last year and then you've got the big monkey kid mech up at the top now we'll carry on looping around into the lego city they had lots and lots of different bits and pieces within here I had a really good look at the recycling wagon I was tempted to maybe pick that up and then I'm thinking oh I should have maybe have got the gaming truck but I will be picking that up sooner rather than later because I want to be adding that into my display as well so it's one of those where you could go to town and get loads of different bits and pieces obviously if you had the money to that is um but I was very very well behaved because I didn't have the money and I don't have time to build any of the sets yet anyway so um that is what I'm telling myself that's why I'm not beating myself up so I didn't again I've come all the way over to Billund and I did not buy a single thing. So you can do it on a budget if you want to. Um, I spent literally no money at all apart from a, a, some food and drink. But you can see you had the recycling lorry there just left hand side. You've got the four plus farm sets. You've got the caravan there. And then coming up, you've got the new digger. You've got the new uh, ice cream and obviously the slushy, which I really am a big fan of. And then coming over, you then go into the stunt section as well. And again, on this side of the store, that is what I wanted. Both of those is what I want. So them side by side, as I was like, oh, they do look really, really nice. And they will work perfectly within my display. And that is the truck itself. So if you have got that, let me know what the build's like. And let me know what it looks like in your own display. Because obviously we've just seen it in, on display in the shop with all of the nice fancy lighting. And also, are you a fan of the new stunts as well? They seem to be selling out very, very quickly at the airports just because it is a very easy thing, obviously, to pick up and build. And obviously, it's a little bike and it. They, they wind back and they shoot around everywhere. Now, if hopefully, it might be a thing that they do carry on going. I've not yet seen a lot of the stock in the clearance sections in different shops, which is obviously a very good thing to see. Now, the Friends artwork as well has completely changed, which means potentially, because they've added in a load of new characters and it's had a full reboot and a restart, it might mean that anything that has the older Friends logo will eventually be going into quite a big sale. So they will be introducing a lot of new characters sooner rather than later because they have got a lot of new sets out I really like the color palette on the new sets and i also like the actual models as well obviously i can't use the figures for what i would want to use them for but a lot of the sets could have potential over a much longer period of time to be added into the display and be very interesting to see what they start to do with the new theme park side of things because obviously they have had a lot of rides in the past for lego friends and that's something i've never i've never jumped into but it might be tempting now there are a couple of interesting buildings that they've got released and some sort of trailer combinations as well so they've got a lot of things to look at so if you sort of just walked past the friend stuff in the past 
start of 2023, full reboot, lots of new characters, lots of new vehicles and everything else like that. So really give them a go and just sort of maybe give it a second chance. And let me know what you've, you think about it in the comments below. Now, I have heard that the dots are going. Uh, I don't know if this is true. But I think, well, I say I don't think it's true. It was a, a member of, not a member of staff from here, but it was a member of staff from a completely different store over in Billund, and it wasn't Lego company related. It was a different independent store that had actually said that the Lego dots will now be no longer, um, but they are going to be keeping all of the art side of stuff. So they're just going to be using the dot elements in a different way. So I didn't think the dots had been out that long, but I think they might be just tweaking how they're going to be doing things. So it'll be very interesting to see moving forward what's going to be happening with all of the dot elements shall we say and then around on this way you can see you've got the nice disney princess castle you've got the cool little lego store tempted again at some point to maybe pick one of those up and just see what that would look like within the theme park because it kind of makes sense having that as the actual main lego shop and some of these i'd never seen before obviously because they do say new underneath them there is the new disney haunted house as well you've got the chessboard loads and loads of minifigures to pick from so you've got all the cmf figures if you want them as well and then if you're a keering fan they have a lot of keerings for you so you can see Sport for choice, and again, really nice way of how they got stuff displayed. Now, if you look past that display up at the top, you can see they've got a history of every single LEGO logo as well. So they are all dated from the current one that we've got now all the way through to the original one. So over every couple of decades, they have changed quite a lot. So if you didn't know that, it might be worth going back and just giving it a pause so you can have a look up. And we're coming back around into the brickheads that we missed last time we only did a few of them and then we've got the cabinet just to the left which we'll stop at because we've already seen that and then we'll come into this bit now this is your builder minifigure now they are packed full of all sorts of different bit pieces no don't worry you don't jump up and get your pieces from there you do get them from how you normally would do within all of your bins and this was a, an extremely busy section as well you can go to town on this where you can get all three minifigures loads and loads of nice elements that they've got in there and a couple of new models dotted about as well now again it is a big store we will keep going they've got a huge selection of all of the jurassic park slash jurassic world sets we are starting to come towards the end of the store and then i think we'll have a look at the massive displays that they got mixed up um by the main entrance as well so there's lots and lots to see but guys i am slowly starting to run out of time so i'm going to get it in early if you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff that'd be absolutely fantastic now you've got the small taj mahal has anybody picked that one up for the architecture sets they have a full selection of architectural sets available they've obviously got the statue of liberty as you guys and girls can see i have got some of the architectural sets because i want to make up a lego mini land in my display that's something that i want to do now we're also having a better look at this as well but you can see how those pub cups in the background they are starting to add up they just kept appearing as i was making this video in different sections and i will try and get around this display on from the other side because i think we had a look at this before i do manage to get around a huge amount of detail now there would have been a plaque or plinth somewhere with regards to where this actually came from and who the designer was so you can see just there is who that is so that is i think it says joe or jan i do believe um but i couldn't stay too still because there were so many people just around here making different bits and pieces which obviously the point of being in a lego store so i never want to get in anybody's way but i think the display looked absolutely fantastic and then again more some more elements underneath quickly jumped as somebody moved from picking up some of their cups so this is just the other size you can see loads and loads of minifigures huge amount of detail within that as well i think it's a really nice impressive looking display and that area always gets used for different bits and pieces right back to the clearance section so we're now going to work finishing where we started and we're having a look at the prices but you will just have to do your own conversion rate so that is 70 danish krona currently so you're going to have to do that into your own sort of currency changeover that is dropped also down to 70 krona as well and then for the police set bear in mind this does come with three minifigures as well that was 180 and it's dropped to 126 the fresh has dropped from 270 to 189 so that's a big a big saving on that that is a really nice set actually which don't forget it comes with a lot of different bits and pieces that is now 70 from 100 you've got this one that includes the road plate which i do believe is the 
bank. That is dropped to 349. And then this is gone to 2239, which is the Bugatti. So that is also in a big sale as well. I think that was the last one. They've also got these stunt vehicles. So I was saying that I haven't seen anything in the sale, but it was only the older vehicles. And they've all dropped down to 49 from 70. So if you like collecting them, would you collect them just for the minifigure and not use the bike if they're in a sale? But you can see there's some Ninjago stuff in there as well. And again, we're having another look at that Bugatti before we spin around and try and have a better look at the other side that we missed on the way in. So they've got the Adidas trainer. They've got the Santa's sleigh was also in the sale. They've got a couple of the micro Star Wars and they had some speed champions as well. And the Ferris wheel. Now I know that's quite hard to get. And that is actually in the sale. Don't forget the reason why they still have all of this is because over the Christmas period, they would have done different hours and it is their first day of open. Now in focus, that book, huge display coming in the next video. That will be the video that follows this one. Massive, massive area to walk around and it teaches you how to do Lego photography properly. And you can see underneath the plexiglass stands all of the displays of actually how they came out with the tricks and things that they did but this is just a small snippet of the display the display was huge it was very very impressive now we're having a look at some of the other models as well but guys that is it i am done so hopefully you've enjoyed this one in the comments below let me know what you found what you're looking forward to what you collect and everything like that and as always thank you very much for watching you guys take care and i'll catch you in the next one Ta -da.